Hello guys and welcome to Lightning Boy on YouTube's Flashback 101 Behind the Box Live. Uh, this is uh, episode 3 of the series and I've decided to change the format. The format will move from pre-recorded to live. Uh, you don't have to watch it live, I'm just recording it live and then you can and then you can watch it. Um, and, and then you can watch it on YouTube afterwards. So the choice is yours. So uh, yeah, but I'm using this to record this. So um, just I must say uh, May Day 51. Thank you for having me on your TV burp. Uh, it, it will be such an honor to, you know, contribute to your TV burp. But I, I, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited, sorry while well, I'm um, saying it, sir. So, welcome to Flashback 101 Behind the Box. And it's a series where I look at all TV channels and presentation and items, and I look at, at, at all of them, well, you know, stuff. So, uh, I did Playhouse Disney and uh, the Disney Channel. Now the turn is... For a channel that's been around for for quite a long time, I mean, I mean, I think fifteen years, I think, since it launched. I'm not sure. I'm not good at the maths, but um, let's start, shall we? The channel is CBBS. So this is Flashbox One Hundred One Behind the Box Live with Lightning Boy on YouTube. Your host. Let's begin. In early 2001, the BBC announced that they were launching two kids, launching two kids TV channels. The results would be CBBS and CBBC. C CBBS launched on the 11th of February 2002 and had a team of four presenters: Chris Jarvis, Sue Monroe, Nicole. Uh, sorry. Chris Jarvis, Sue Monroe, Poi Fanley, and Sydney Sloan. They were joined by Nicole Davis in 2003. And for the next, uh, I don't know, four, three or four years, I think, um, it was the presenting team of Chris, Sue, Nicole, Poi, and Sid that I, that in my opinion, is the golden age of CBBS. And May Day 51 would perhaps agree with me there so yeah um and uh yes yeah, so from from 2003 to 2006 it would be chris poi sue uh sid and nicole yeah so okay right uh from 2004 to 2006 cbb's would have a thing called the door uh, the, the door regime when when different presenters would have different segments of the day. For example, Chris's sing-along hour, Sue's make and do hour, Nicole's uh, furry friends hour, Sid's fix it, fa um, fix it hour, and, <laughs> and Poise exploring hour. These segments were dropped in 2006 because Monroe and Davis left in February and March of that year. Their contracts were not renewed by the BBC. And uh, it was quite, uh, at the time, I remember seeing Sue and Nicole and just wondering where the, the heck they'd gone. But, uh, yeah, CBBS brought a new presenter called Ava Alexander. Unfortunately, she was only to last, last from, from March to October, which I often wondered why exactly that... Uh, but then I found out that Ava had had was having a baby, so she left. She said in a in her final link before going off the maternity leave that she would be back. But she didn't come back. No, not at all. Not even to visit. Not even to visit. Anyway, sorry, getting distracted. Um. Yes. Yeah, so um, Ava went off for maternity leave. So that left Chris, Poi, and Sid, three presenters. Well, no, 
In fact, it wasn't just free presenters. The BBC did the sensible option of having Justin Fletcher and Sarah Jane Honeywell drafting them in from Tickabilla, Higgledy House, and something special, respectively, to draft them in as guest presenters. They lasted until 2006, uh, till 2007. Uh, now let's move to the eye dents. The eye dents were um, yellow blobs known as bugs, and they would be dancing on the CBB's background, which I didn't realize until recently that the shapes, I used to call them shapes, they're actually the CBB's logo, the, the, the CBB's bit, without the BBC bit, but the CBB's bit in blue sort of looped, sort of, and I didn't know that. Apologies, I, I probably didn't realize the things when I was little. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, they were created by Martin Lebinem, and they featured the 2D bug items really from 2002 to 2007 mainly. But they they got lots of the items were shown, shown occasionally. So from 2007 to 2016, when CBB sort of had a rebrand. Yes. Uh, so uh, in 2007, the segments were brought back, but they were different. CBB had moved to Teddington Studios in London, where Morecambe and Wise was filmed, and had moved into a different studio. This time, it was actually a house set. And the segments were Get Said Go, presented by Sidney Sloan, and then Andy Day took over and joined him in two, when he arrived in 2007. Then there was Discover and Do, presented by Chris Jarvis and Poi Fanley. Until they left in January 2009, Alex Winters and Kerry Bunnell took over until, until Bunnell and Winters' departures in 2015, and 2017 April of this year. Uh, now I believe it's sort of presented by Kat Sadion and Andy Day, I think, but I don't want to see views that much at all anymore. So yeah, now it's time. Now I've given you a bit about the presenters. Now it's time for a bit about the programs. Now CBBS took a bit of. A bit of the programs from CBBC that that were the preschools that CBBC were broadcasting because CBBC wasn't launched until 2002. So they brought some of the programs, uh, Tweenies, the Tweenies, Play Days, Williams Wish Wellingtons, uh, but also had new programs like uh, Balamori. Uh, Zing Along, which was uh, Zoe, played by Marie Claire McMagnus, and Zing and the children would collect sounds to make to make a song. Yeah, that's a unique idea, isn't it? Um, and yeah, so um, <clears throat> CBBS had some great programs. I think my favourites were always Bob the Builder. I did love Bob the Builder when it was in its original form and voiced by Neil Morrissey. Oh, it was absolutely brilliant. I loved it. And um, Bob the Builder went to the charts as May Day 51, and I'm sure lots of Bob fans from that era will know. First, he had Can We Fix It in cr Christmas 2000, when he knocked West's life off the charts. Extraordinary. And then his cover of Lou Baker's Mambo Number no. 5 went to the charts in Christmas of 2001. Uh, so, yes, and it was so clever, I remember, changing the lyrics of building objects and uh, building objects and, you know, words. Yeah, the, the club, vocabulary, that's it. Yes, whoops. Well, that's a long word to say. Ah. So where was I? Oh yes, Bob the Builder. He wasn't the only character to take the chance. The Tweenies released four singles between 2000, 2000, uh, 2001 and 2002. Those were I Believe in Christmas, 
Have Fun Go Mad, a cover of Blair's 90s song, uh, Best Friends Forever, uh, Number One, and Do the Lollipop, which those three were all original compositions uh, written for the tweenies. Uh, but yes, so um, yeah, they did good. Also, I believe Teletubbies is uh, the Teletubbies theme song went to the charts as well, and uh, yeah, and I think Bill and Ben theme the Bill and Ben theme song. I think I think that got to the charts as well. I I mean the new Bill and Ben. I'm not about the fifties uh, Bill and Ben. So uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. Uh, okay, uh, time for time for the studio sets. The first studio set from two thousand and two to two thousand and five was well. First of all, it was sort of a yellowy red color. I never really liked that, to be honest. No, I didn't think it. I didn't think it was very CBBC. I thought it was sort of an uh, an African. A, a den playhouse in Africa. Yeah, that's how I would describe it. Uh, the second studio set was sort of these, um, what you call them, posts. I'm, I'm not sure. These little sort of uh, uh, rings, big, big uh, rings, sort of, that said CBBs on them. Uh, yeah, and then the second studio. Uh, which was 2007 until CBBS and the BBC moved to Media City in 2011, was the CBBS house currently uh, in Media City, UK. Uh, yeah, so, um, okay. Time for more of the presenters. As I said, Andy Day arrived in 2007. Uh, in 2009, Nisha Analier, who presented... Uh, same smile that one with the pandas uh, that program with the pandas she joined the CBBS presentation team for a bit and then Katie Ashworth joined from about 2011 onwards yeah just towards the end of the CBBS health in Teddington before they moved to Media City uh, yeah okay um, one of the presenters from CBBS Poland Anita joined in 2016 and i think she's still on the channel i'm not sure uh cat sadion star of uh, of high five is now part of the series presenting team and alex winters and kerry bunnell known as alex and kerry left in 2015 and kerry left in april of this year so 2017 so yes uh Yes, so that's the presenters. Uh, more of the show. CBBS um, had a show called Binka, which was about a cat, uh, which was quite good. They also introduced 64 Zoo Lane uh, and uh, Pablo the Red Fox, I remember. Uh, Ethelbert the Tiger, I also remember bits about. Uh, so, yeah as well as also taking shows from cbbc they also had uh their their, their own shows yeah yeah their own shows uh yep so yeah uh right and uh yeah um in 2015 cbbs went back to the fivesome they brought rebecca keatley who joined in 2014 and ben kaji who joined in 2015 and uh, it's nice to see that CBBS is sort of has its own team of five presenters now. See, so these children's golden eras will probably be in a few years' time. Ben, uh, Ben, uh, Katie, Re Ben, Katie, Rebecca, Andy, and uh, uh, Ben. Ben, Katie, Rebecca, Andy, and uh, oh, oh yeah, maybe Kerry, maybe Kerry, yeah. So um, yeah, 
Uh, CBB celebrated its 10th birthday on the 11th of February 2012, a day that was celebrated with a special something special called Mr. Tumble's Day Out, and also had continuity links with Sidney Sloan, Andy Day, and Kerry Bunn, all with this big inflatable tent. It was amazing that they even bothered to celebrate it because people the people that really watch CBS wouldn't really care really but still it is it is nice and uh, and i hope when they so when they celebrate their next birthday that they make a bit of an effort about that uh yeah so yeah CBB still continues to go strong to get to, strong today they rebooted the Toby tubbies and it's it's a different channel, but of course it will be different. Nothing stays the same forever. But it's good to know that it's still around and still entertaining uh, three to six year olds or something. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, one to one to five year olds? Oh, uh, I don't know. But it, anyway, it's still entertaining preschool children which is the important thing and the bbc of course have a duty to to do that so uh uh yeah yeah okay uh right so if they are watching um it may day 51 won't be watching live but he will be watching later so i'll do a shout out for you hi may day 51 if you're watching Aaron man 43 uh, then hi or classic kids channel or classic uh, or superstar comedy. I do I do love the idea. I, that's the thing, Aaron Man Forty Three. I do love the idea that um, you've made sort of your own TV channel. I mean I mean it's brilliant. Well done and keep making those videos because I just we all love watching them and post sixteen adventures. Uh, you're you and I presume your friends from college. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. And Harry Humble and oh, it's just brilliant. So well done. You know, Aaron Man Forty Three. If classic, if superstar comedy was launched on Sky or something, then I'm sure I would give it a watch because it'd be so good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so who's watching? I'm I'm not sure. Let me just look on the uh let me just look on on uh let me just look on now who's watching uh oh jack williams oh jack Thank you for mentioning, Jack Williams says, thank you for mentioning Bob the Builder, Tweenies, and Bill and Ben. I love them. Well, Jack, uh, uh, I will say to Jack Williams, no problem, and uh, hope you enjoy the show. So, Jack Williams... No problem. Hope, hope you're, hope you're enjoying the show. Ah, oh, yes, it is. It is so nice, isn't it? So, uh, okay. Yep. So I sent you your message, Jack Williams. Thank you for your positive comment. Uh, okay. Right, you're watching Flashback 10. You're watching Flashback. Uh, flashback 101. Uh, behind the box with me. Um, with me, your host, Lightning Boy, on YouTube. And May Day 51. I hope you do enjoy the show when you do watch it. Because uh, fair enough, maybe you're not a big fan of the live things, but. Uh, it's just the way for me to record it. So I, I think, and I think I'm going to be using this more than OBS, I think, because, uh, well, OBS is not 
I, I don't think it's really the best for screen capture. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and um, I thought I'd use this in Mayday 51. I'm sure will have a great smile on his face. Uh, so, um, Jack Williams, do you like uh, Mayday 51's TV burp? Uh, um, if you do, then I will be glad to tell you that Mayday 51's TV burp is uh, airing this weekend uh, on Mayday 51, Nostalgia for Everyone's, youtube channel please search search for that channel please like subscribe and comment to mayday 51 i'm sure he'd be really grateful uh tv burp with brian the bunny rabbit this weekend sometime on mayday 51 nostalgia for everyone and i'm sure that he'll uh that he'll clarify uh clarify the uh clarify uh the time for you so uh yeah that's um that's uh that, that's that's good so um yeah um anyway jack williams hope you enjoyed the show hope yeah hope hope you all enjoyed the show uh who whoever is watching this so yeah okay uh okay right well we've only got a few minutes uh this stream is finishing at two o'clock so that's 14.00 uh greenwich middle time so that's yeah because i'm from the uk uh yeah so that's uh yeah it's um it's ending in a few minutes um in the meantime i've got to tell you about a few things also, on Mayday 51's TV burp, I'll be making a vocal cameo, so look out for me. Uh, I'll send you the link. Uh, I'll be talking to Brian the Bunny Rabbit, the great Brian the Bunny Rabbit, on the phone, which will be absolutely brilliant. So, um, yeah, hope hope Brian is there munching his carrot and uh, enjoying this as well. <laughs> Mayday 51 will like that, I think. Uh, yeah, um, also, I'm writing a thing called The Missing Archive. Now, if you're on TV Forum, which I don't know if any of you are, but there's a thing called The Missing Archive when there's a forum about things that are missing and would like to see on YouTube. Um, so I'm going to be launching a video version of The Missing Archive, and you can suggest anything that you think is missing. So that could be Playhouse Disney, more Discovery Kids, UK continuity, uh, more, yeah, uh, CITV. We've had the uh, swag bag from 2004. So if, if you've got any suggestions for the missing archive, then uh, I'd love to see them. And uh, I will try to, in the very first missing archive show, TBC 2B confirmed because that's i haven't thought of a date for the series to start yet so yeah that's that's that um um don't forget uh in, in case you do want to see the look at the cbb's website now the website is www.bbc.co.uk forward slash cbb's and uh yeah click on that page because it'd be interesting uh yeah um okay i thought i'd spend the final few minutes of the show talking about the red button now cbb is a quite a unique red button well they had two red buttons there was one that said come and play which i think is about 2004 it was purple and yellow then it uh, there was a one from 2002 to 2003 that said press red in big white letters and red and um and then 2004, they had Dottie the Ladybird, which I, I never really got, really. I mean, what, what was the purpose of Dottie? Uh, Jack Williams, if you remember that, or Mayday 51, if if you uh, remember that. Could, could somebody please kind of clarify what was the whole point of Dottie the Ladybird? Because I, I, I don't really get that. Um, there was also, I, I'm sure 
some people who remember CBeebies from the 2000s will remember that there was a red button uh, thing. Uh, it was from, I think, 2005 called Snowflake TV. Uh, it was just basically Christmassy stuff, songs, activities, uh, games. I, I think it was sort of like, no, no, if that it was on the BBC Red Button, the actual Red Button channel, not the Red Button on your remote, the Red Button channel, and it was like a completely different channel, sort of. Uh, I only remember Sue making a sparkly snowflake. But, uh, yeah, Snowflake TV, if anyone remembers that, it'd be, be really amazing. And uh, if anyone could clarify that, clarify that, that'd be brilliant. All right, Jack Williams, you you have come. So, oh, in case you were wondering, the CBB's doors was actually dropped in December two thousand and four. Uh, thank you, Matthew uh, Muir, uh, for that. Hope you're enjoying the show, and um, I do recommend you join. Uh, you watch my Playhouse Disney one because Matthew Muir. You are probably the biggest Playhouse Disney UK fan from Dave and Alex, like me, and uh, I don't know I don't know anyone else, but you really are a fan. Uh, well, James Delaney is a, a fan, I think, and uh, Mayday 51, I think, likes Playhouse Disney as well. And Jack Williams, you were writing the scripts to Mayday 51. Oh, what an honor. What an honor, man. It... it, it, it to have the job to write scripts for Mayday 51's TV, but that's brilliant. Oh, and he written scripts for Series 2 of Mayday 51's TV, but... Okay, the last... Oh, oh, and Jet Williams has also said, thank you for mentioning me on the video as well. Well, the, the pleasure is all mine. You guys watch the video, and you get the credit. It's sort of... Um, it's sort of... So uh, if you do something for me, I do something for you. Well, you, you get what I mean without sounding too, you know, um, over the top. So uh, the final bits of the show are going to be talking about the website. Now, CBeebies had a very clever website in which it would have Webster, the mouse, <laughs> the, the mouse, get get the joke, because, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, a mouse like a like a computer mouse like this um but no that they actually had an actual mouse called webster uh, webster you know it sounds a bit like website which is absolutely brilliant and the bbc again like i mentioned were absolutely brilliant for things like this so um so uh webster the mouse uh yeah Webster the mouse, uh, yep, yeah. uh, and I think Webster was voiced, I think, by a very experienced puppeteer, because she puppeteered Tiggs in the shiny show, and uh, and Poppy in Play Days, Sue Monroe, I think that she, um, that she um, uh, performed Webster, uh, but if if any of you could clarify that that would be uh, good as well okay right well we've just got a, a few minutes left um thank you for watching uh flashback 101 behind the box live with lightning boy the next episode will be tomorrow and the next episode will be uh, let's check what what did I say to Mayday 51 the whole schedule was? Uh, let's see. Um, oh, what was it? Uh, um, may, uh, what was it? Was it, was it on? Was it on? Oh, I'm just wondering. Uh, oh, yeah. Am I, oh. Oh, yeah, it was this one. So, just before I go, it's time for a quick order of um, of what's coming up on, on in the show. So, I've done Playhouse Disney, I've done the Disney Channel, and I've done, I've done uh, 
I've done a fit and I've done and I've done a C babies. Oops, we're going we're going slightly out of out of time. Uh oh, where did I put or is it this is mission fitness? Sorry, something just uh, going wrong just a little bit. Uh, where's the uh I, I can't find it. Is it, is it so, to is it is it on here? I think. Uh, oh, you all thirteen replies. Uh, right. Well, I can't find it, but. The order I think I'm doing is uh, tiny pop and pop. If if uh, tiny, so I'm going a bit over time. Uh, tiny, tiny pop uh, and pop. Uh, um, there's tiny pop and pop. Um, CITV from 1998 to 2004. Uh, uh, Discovery Kids. Uh, there's also a special the finale will be anybody who remembers the broom cupboard anyone who has memories of children's bbc of third schofield gone the gopher andy peters at the duck andy crane uh yeah and presenter and toby amstis people like that oh i know to see on work as well and and rats yeah uh please um w would love to hear your memories of the broom cupboard um don't Okay, guys, that's it. I've gone slightly over time, but uh, hope you've enjoyed the show. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. If you want to, you don't have to, to the Lightning Boy on YouTube page. This has been your host, Lightning Boy, um, on YouTube, and this has been Flashback 101 Behind the Box. And I shall see you tomorrow for another episode. Um, until until the next time. Bye bye for now. Bye.